After 15 long days at sea, we finally spotted land. We arrived in Euclid early one morning and headed straight for the fuel dock. It was awesome to see boats again and be reminded of civilization. The fuel dock opened at 7.30, so we took inventory of what we had for gloves and socks. And conveniently, they had lots of them, so we stocked up. By 11 o'clock, we had arrived where we would unload our fish, and the men were hard at work. that we were going to be in Euclid for a couple of days and so we secured our boat to another one at the public wharf. We did laundry, so many loads of laundry and stocked up on groceries. It was put away again, I hit the dance floor. last very long that night because I was still used to boat hours I suppose so I went home to the boat quite early and the next morning my good friend Joel took me out for the last little bit of summertime that I would experience we went for a hike and a surf Euclid was an awesome place to stop because they also, very close to the wharf, have a swimming pool. So being able to go swimming in the pool and in the sea, it was just so relaxing. Very soon it seemed we were off once again and I felt kind of bittersweet about it to be heading out. But soon we got into the swing of things once again and it all felt good. The captain asked me a couple of times if I ever felt guilty for killing fish or killing live things and I didn't really because we were often reminded these tuna fish would throw up those little fish too. So it was just a reminder of the circle of life. We were catching fish and they were eating fish as well. in big seas and yeah it's just a beautiful day so this is the second day of our second trip and it's going well so far my body is getting a lot stronger I still can't stack very well at all uh, and I'm not the fastest doing a lot of things but I can tell I'm getting better I'm up to four push-ups now which is pretty cool <laughs>
before leaving at the start of the season, my sister had snuck a number of envelopes in my bag, and I was so thankful for these letters. They were from my mom and my sister, and they were just letters to open on different days during the season, and they would often make me laugh or sometimes even make me cry. And it was just such a nice reminder of the support I had back home to get me through the rough days. We did have some busy days this trip with lots of tuna coming in, but nothing like they had experienced in previous seasons. So at the start of the trip, we thought our numbers were low because, or I thought our numbers were low because of slow deckhands or new deckhands, greenhorns like myself. But it soon became apparent that it was more of a fleet-wide problem and it was just a weird season for tuna fishing. Each day of the entire season I felt like I was learning new things so I would always be asking the guys what they like to make and what their favorite recipes were and not only for cooking but for everything to do on the boat there were so many things to learn and I've always wanted to be a fisherman and I was really surprised that it didn't come the most naturally to me it was Sometimes quite a struggle to learn these things, but but I did, and what can I say? It wasn't graceful, but it was a passion of mine, so it was a humbling experience, and I loved it all the same. days were slow and the tuna didn't seem to be biting, I would read a lot of books and I was very thankful for those stories. And by then, this, like this whole trip, it was pretty rough weather and I'm very thankful that I wasn't getting seasick. The waves turned from looking just like swells to more like mountain ranges and it would just take my breath away in awe. In 32 days I had one real shower and the rest of the time I was more worried about my fishing gear. So this is how I would shower most of the time while out at sea. After a number of days with the stabilizers in, we were able to pull them out or the guys did because they were strong the seas finally started to calm down a little bit. We headed towards land. This time we were going to deliver our fish to Victoria, so I made lists of what needed to be bought this time. And oh, I was so looking forward to making landfall. I had gained a bit of weight from some unhealthy eating and I was ready for a lot of showers.
Victoria, here we come.